today we're going to be wiping, erasing, and resetting back to factory settings this MacBook Pro. And this is going to be the new tutorial for macOS Sequoia for the year 2025. So this is going to be up to date and fresh. And the purpose of this is that if you want to give this Mac to a new user, for example, you're giving it to a family member or you're selling it on, then you don't want any of your data retained on it. Or if you're doing a refund, then you actually need to make sure the data is removed and iCloud's removed as well. So I'm going to show you the full tutorial on how to do this today. And it's going to be updated for the year 2025. So the basic first step is just to make sure that you have all of your data backed up. So your computer is going to have lots of your personal data on here. And what you want to do is just make sure that this is all kind of backed up on a different system. If you go to the spoiler icon here, you can use the time machine function and then set up time machine and make sure that this has been set up with an external drive. Or you can use the iCloud backup and just make sure all your data is synchronized there that's because all of the data is going to be removed from this mac permanently so just make sure that you're aware of that before we move on to the next step so the kind of first thing that you need to do is to click on the apple logo on the top left here and go to system settings and then within system settings we're going to go ahead and scroll down until we get to the general section here and then scroll down and then go to transfer or reset so this is the button we want to press here transfer or reset and then we want to click on this button here, which says erase all content and settings. So I'm going to tap on this now, and then we're going to type in our local Mac password. So that's the password that we use to log into our Mac. So here I'm just going to press the unlock button now. And then here it's saying all settings, media and data for all volumes on this Mac will be erased. The following items will be removed, Apple account and Bluetooth accessories. So um, confirm that, press continue. And then we're going to type in our Apple ID password. So if you're logged into iCloud, we're going to have to sign out. So we're going to type in our Apple ID password and then press continue here, press continue. Then we're just going to wait for that to go through. So now we have the kind of final warning here. It says erase all contents and settings. So this is the final stage at which we could stop this process. Once we click the button here, then it's basically going to make sure that everything is deleted. So now we're going to do is press erase all contents and settings. So tap on this and then it's going to take a few seconds to actually process this. So uh, the screen's gone blank and now the process of deleting has started. So this really doesn't take a huge amount of time for this to work. So I'm going to try not to edit this because I want to demonstrate how fast this process actually is. And uh, we're going to go ahead and wait for this to go through. Dip, 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 dip. Oh, white Apple logo there. That's... Uh, with the, the modern solid state drive in these MacBook Pros, they work incredibly fast. So, and the, the process of deleting data from a solid state drive is very efficient. So um, compared to the old days of hard drives when you had to like delete an entire gigabyte or to, like, like a terabyte of data, that would actually take a substantial amount of time. But uh, reinstalling the operating system, erasing the data, and then getting it all sorted is actually very fast. So the next stage that should be coming up is the activation. So uh, what the Mac will want to do is to make sure that we have activated, because if you were to say, uh, erase this without being connected to the internet, then um, this might not actually come up properly. So now what it's asking us to do is to activate. So we're going to go ahead and select our Wi-Fi network. So just tap on the Wi-Fi icon here and then connect up to your nearest network. So we're going to join the nearest Wi-Fi network. So we've got the bars there, and then this icon is going to start uh, turning here. And then the Mac is going to be activated. And we're just waiting for this next button to come up. So uh, just kind of wait for that to happen. It's you know relatively speedy. And it's saying the Mac is activated, it's going to restart. So I'm going to manually restart here and then just let that churn over and start. And then we're going to be welcomed by the hello screen. That's going to be quite helpful for us. We can hear the chime there. And uh, because we've activated the Mac now, then this will come up as a brand new computer. So I think the activation is necessary because if you were to wipe your computer without um, being connected to the internet that Apple doesn't know that you've actually wiped it. Okay, I'm just gonna 
click on this now. So it says here, an internet connection is required to verify the startup disk. I'm already connected to the Wi-Fi that we connected to earlier. So it's already remembered that. Pressing try again here. And um, saying here that, now it's saying here, the version of the macOS is out of date. So you're going to re reuse the recovery to install the latest version. So tap on that. And then we're going to click on reinstall macOS Sequoia. Press continue. Press continue. And then uh, this is going to continue the install process. So I think what's happened here is that because the um, the the version of macOS on the recovery drive uh, within the internal solid state drive of the Mac is not up to date and it really wants to install the latest version, then it's basically going to re-download uh, macOS Sequoia. So we're going to press agree here and then agree. We're going to select our internal solid state drive, Macintosh HD, and press continue. And uh, now it's saying it's going to take a certain amount of time. So I don't actually think it's going to take three hours, but uh, we'll just wait for that to finish. If your um, recovery drive has the latest version, then you won't necessarily have to go through this step. So now that so now the computer is restarting. You can see here that this you can see that this progress bar is continuing. And now that the computer is started up again, you can see that we have our standard language selection. So if I press continue here and do the kind of standard setup, this is set up as a fresh user now. So basically this is what you get when you have a factory reset MacBook. So uh, if I press back here, it basically is if I've uh, turned on the Mac for the very first time. Let me just uh, let that come up here. Let's give that a second. And then, yeah, basically this is the fresh Mac boot up screen and there's no data left on this computer anymore. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.